to my channel. Uh, my name's Tracy and this is my channel, A World of Stitches. Mostly cross stitch, but I do. I am going to be showing you a piece of my crochet today because I've got to the point where I'm just. I am going to have to insert a picture and not show you because it's so darn big now. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just insert pictures for that one. Um, I've got the giveaway to do and I've chosen two more that I am willing to let go. Just because I have so many tubs now. Um, my daughter's bugging me. Mum, they're everywhere. I know. They're everywhere. I know. They're all, most of them are organised into tubs, okay? So, you know, but she says I need to get rid. And I agree. There are some that I'm probably not going to get around to stitching. So I'm going to do two giveaways this week and I'm going to draw the one from last week at the end. Okay, now usually I've wrote down everything I've worked on. I think I have. But then something will probably just pop right in there and I'll realise it's one that I haven't accounted for. So we are just going to dive straight in. I'll do my counted cross stitch kits first and then I'll show you my stamped Okay, so we'll work from the top, which means I need to get rid of that for a moment. Oh, my iron tablet's falling over. I need to show you this one first. Let me zoom that in a little bit. It is this one, Mini All Cats Go to Heaven by Jim Warren, charted by Haid. Now this is coming very close to a finish. Be honest it should have been finished already I mean even the last few days I just haven't been able to focus on it but this is 25 count cream even weave worked one over one full cross let me take my needle because I don't need that thread on there right now um stay now I did buy just because this works out a lot cheaper than buying the extra long arm for my Lowry, which I'm going to have to get because this is quite wobbly. It attaches to here, lovely. But when this is just hold, when it's holding just by there, this is quite bouncy. So I'm going to have to go for the L bar for the Lowry anyway. So this is where I'm at. Like I said, there's not too many stitches left now. Um, I filled in all this black now, so practically there's a couple of stitches down here and here and here that need to be filled in but this corner is practically done uh, most of it left is like kind of in here and up the stairs I still have this little patch I have been working on it uh, slowly but surely I did want it done by the end of the year and I am still aiming for that we will see yeah but this week I did no, this past two weeks I did 3,707 stitches. It should have been more than that. But, you know, I've just not... I'm trying to knock myself out with that. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, my next one is a cell. I'm going to show you the end result. The, um, the last part of it came out on the first. Uh, I haven't done all of last month's so I am still behind but this phenomenal I have been blown away by this sale this year this is the finished product so this is December's uh, everything in there is December's and then they've put like um, like under the wolf it says wolf moon under the snow one it says snow moon crow moon and what's that one grass moon they've just kind of written underneath all of them but I'm not sure if you can read that if not I'll read it the moon like a flower in heaven's high bower with silent delight sits in smiles on the night William Blake absolutely gorgeous cell and I have enjoyed every single stitch of it I'm gutted he's not going to be doing one next year but um, he's not been too uh, good the last I don't know, a few months maybe. So he's taking next year off, even though he has started a sale, started designing. He hasn't finished it yet and he, he doesn't think he can do it. 
just he needs to look after himself so next year there's not going to be a sale so I've got plenty of time to finish that one now um, and then his next one's going to be 2025 so this is stitched on 14 Ken Ada 2 over 1 it's very see through let me just pop this on the back so you guys can see properly instead of seeing my head so yeah I've just been going up with this border here I'm on this is the corner um, piece right there and then it'll go across I haven't done a huge amount uh, 553 stitches I know that's not a lot but it's so close to a finish now you know I've only got two more blocks at the side November and December and then fill in the words and all the bits of writing I don't even mind the word back the words back stitched that'll be super easy let me put this back in my stash now right the next one See, I haven't even put them in order on here. As they have there. This one, I'll show you it on here. It's so much easier. Is this one? It is called Sampler Flowers Feed the Soul. That I'm stitching with Paula, and it looks so so good in the colour I'm doing it in. Where's my um? There it is. If you're new, this is the colour I'm using. It's a sulky thread. It's called Iris. We kind of turn towards the light a bit. Blues, pinks, lilacs. Gorgeous. Anyway, this week I did only 134 stitches. Just this is one of those I picked up in between housework, cooking and all the rest. Uh, so I only did 134. So I dropped this down. I think I did this too. It's stitched on, good question, hold on, it is stitched on 22 count antique white hard anger and it's one over one. Yep, and those collars just look, here they go, if I turn it to the light it shows up so much better. I'm still loving this one, it's in the hoop just because it's one of those that I constantly get out saying that I had to go and fish for it because Ellie's been tidying all my cross stitches she's been putting them away in different tubs and I'm like I know it was a bit of a mess but it was I knew where everything was so I had to shout her down to come and give me a hand to find my stuff <laughs> and she did bless her she knew pretty much where everything was right this next one this was a new start I think last week Yes, it was. I showed it you last floss tube. It is Doreen Jones. It's free on her Facebook group. I mean, obviously, I'll put in pictures of where they were the last time you guys saw them. I need to cut the edges off this. I've sewn it but not trimmed it. This is stitched on 14 count Ada Natural. And this is where we are at. So I've been filling in block number one I think this is block number one anyway just baubles and stuff and it looks really good and they're fully they're full coverage to each block there's no um, no Ada to see it's all full coverage so I am enjoying this one this is one I like to get out when I'm watching I'm a Celebrity which finishes tonight sad can't believe it's been three weeks already anyway loving that one so yeah if you ever want any information on any of my cells or my cross stitch, drop me a comment and I will find out everything you need to know. This is free in her Facebook group if you join. Um, same as the One Point Mind Over the Moon Mystery Sal. That's free on their, in their Facebook group and I do believe last year's is still up there as well. So that's that one. That's a paper chart, so I don't know how many I did on that one. Turn this back over, because I'm actually on this side. Okay, right. This one. This is one I adopted to finish for a lady. I have the picture. Hair in my mouth. Shut me head's gone. I don't even know where it is. Let's locate the full picture. There we go. 
I pinched the full picture off Facebook so I could show you guys what it actually looks like when it's finished. The top half was already done, she just wanted the bottom half finishing. And um, I've been working on the car and I've thoroughly enjoyed it if I'm completely honest. Do I have a thread attached? I do, let me just tuck that in. Okay, it's still in the hoop because it's still being worked. But this is where I'm at. It's 14 count Ada, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, hold on, do you know what? I'm going to pop it out the hoop because you can't see all the car. And I have been working on the car. Here we go. So this is where we're at. The eighth. <laughs> so yeah, I've been working on that car. And it's starting to look really good, to be honest with you. All this is what I unpicked last time. Do you remember seeing that red patch? I've restitched it all and I've been filling in the dark greys on the wheels and I'm actually now doing the grill at the front. It's in a very light, like a very light grey colour, but it's looking good. So yeah, I've got to send her a picture. I haven't sent her an update one this week. I will rehoop that after. Again, that's a paper chart, so I don't know how many I've done, but it's it's moving along nicely now um, my new start now here's the funny thing I did a, I wanted to do a birthday start last week because my birthday was on Thursday I got so busy Thursday I forgot completely just went out of my head and when I got up on the first on the Friday I don't even know why it occurred to me but it did that I hadn't started it on my birthday so it's a birthday start for a day late and I went and printed out a bigger image so you guys can see it better. There's no right or wrong way up, but it is this one. I believe I got this from Zana Cross Stitch on Etsy. I could be wrong. But if you want to know, let me know. I'll find out. So I've started this corner right here. And I just went with the black just because there is so much black in this piece. So yeah, that was my start. I did... Where did I put it? 234 stitches. I know it's not much, but uh, behave yourself. This is it. Just that corner. <laughs> this is 25 count even weave. But I had to wash this before I used it. Last time I bought some fabric off AliExpress, it was really stiff. This time I wasn't stupid. I bought it. I only bought it off AliExpress. I said I never would again. But I only did because it was going to cost me like 35, 30 quid for a piece. And it was 13 something on AliExpress. So I went on AliExpress and bought it. And I washed it and conditioned it. And it's perfect now. So that was my birthday start. It is even weave, isn't it? Yeah, I that. So yeah, I'm going to try and plumb through some of that black before I move on to do a bit of colour. In you go. I should put it in a poly pocket really stop it getting creased. Okay, my next one is this one. It was a stamped kit, but I washed it just because... This is the piece, it's called Celebrating Christmas. Now the stamping, I've noticed on a lot of kits, the stamping is different to the chart. And on my fabric this looked like a right confetti mishmash. But when I looked at the chart it didn't look too bad, so I washed it and I'm going to follow the chart. I photocopied it already. So all my pieces of them. Um, oops. And there you go. I photocopied it, so I've got the um, paper that I can mark off. So that was the piece. So it is technically a counted piece now. It is 11 count, which I was a little gutted about. I thought it was 14. I obviously wasn't reading properly. So, but it is 11 count and it's 3 over 1. Now which way up does this go? Um, hang on, yeah, it's widthways. ways. 
let me just reorientate myself. Where's the one I shaded? Or didn't I shade it? I didn't. I never got round to it because I started using the main one. Um, okay, that's where I was. I was doing the D's. Where am I? No. Uh, it's that way. Got there in the end. I haven't done a massive amount. But I have made a start. And it is, I believe, on this one right here. That's the middle of the fabric. So that's the one I've started on. So I've made a start. And it's three over one because it is 11 count. Yeah. I made the decision to wash it. But I don't regret it either, so that's a good thing. You in there. You behind. There we go. I'm not even going to steal it up. I'll deal with that after. Right, my last three. This one. No, I'm going to go with this one first. I haven't done much. One of those I've picked up in between jobs. Uh, it's from One Day Saving. It is my Marvel Heroes. So my stamped kits are next, if you haven't noticed. I haven't done loads more than the last time you saw it, but I have been filling in Greet's face. Well, his head. This is 14 count, so it's two over one. Let me get out the light, that might help. Well, hey. It should be fairly quick to do this. It's just the monotonous of, you know, all one colour. But it's good. Still enjoying it. I'll put still that one just because I'm already halfway there. Right, the next one. This one. Nope. I've already opened it. Let me show you. This one is from New Craft Day. And it's this one, my latest Looney Tunes piece. Now this one, before I did anything else, I'm not sure if I've told you before, but I worked those um, words. Because if they weren't going to come out, I was a little bit hesitant about the rest of it and carry on with it. Oh, hey. Excuse my indigestion. But they came out okay, so I carried on. Now, this hasn't had a massive amount of work. Stay. But it has had a little. So, oh, hitting everything. This is where I'm at. So, Yosemite Sam's had a bit of work. I've outlined his beard now. In the darker orange, you can tell it's him with his <laughs> with his big eyebrows. And then when I've had a colour that uh, I didn't want to put away because it was just a waste, I've carried on and took it into the others. So like this yellow, when I finished his hat, I just dropped down and used it all on there. And the same goes for over here as well, the orange that I used. And then there's been this um like copper browny colour that I've carried along just to save you know putting a partial thread back I've just carried it on so yeah I'm gonna try and do a block at a time but obviously I will still work it so the threads are finished rather than me putting half a thread back um, I'm still loving those floss rings And then my last one, sorry guys, my last one, I think this is all, don't quote me on it, my last one is this one, my Winnie the Pooh piece, the light, I should have done the video earlier, I just, I've been busy, we bought a new air fryer and I did a rotisserie chicken for dinner, oh my gosh it was amazing, and I don't like meat particularly, yeah anyway, Winnie the Pooh get back to it Tracy never mind the rotisserie chicken my kids loved it absolutely loved it they sat there in the kitchen watching it for a while 
just watching it rotate inside the air, air fryer. Right, this one's had a fair amount of work, I'd say, especially the words, Winnie the Pooh. I've done a lot of the black, so I'm not sure if this one was done last time, but I know I've done this one and most of the H. I've even taken this further over. But yeah, I haven't gone any further than the bottom of the letters anyway. But it's coming along. I sat with this during I'm a Celebrity last night. This got a lot of work last night. <laughs> this is 11 count, 3 over 1. Right. Now. Don't quote me on it, but I believe that's it. I've done a lot of sorting out again to do now. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I did the comment thingy correctly. The only thing it doesn't allow me anymore, because you have to pay for the premium, um, is to do it from... Let me just show you. If you want to filter comments by a word or hashtag, you have to buy the premium for that. So I'm just going to, if one comes up that it doesn't say Robin, I'll redraw it again. Okay, so I've put the YouTube video in, filter duplicate. I already did get the YouTube. It's because I've left it for so long. How many was there? Oh, I just got rid of my video. Eight. It has to make sure I'm not um, a bot, apparently. Amount of unique comments, 15. I'm sure there was more than that. Okay, we'll go with it. Let's just... <sighs> that was my shoulder. Hold <sighs> mm -mm, on. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> this is not ending well. I need to look at her comment. Okay, we're going to have to draw it again. Okay, that's fine. This is not ending well. It's... No, I don't want you, I want you. You know when you hit back up too many times and it just sort of lags and then it takes you way too far? That's what it's done. So now I've got to redo all that. Two minutes, guys. I am so sorry. Filter duplicates. Do, do, do. Three. Okay. Right. We'll try again. Who have we got this time? Donna Bland, I think I have your information in my giveaway form. So, I'm going to be sending you the Robin kit, this one. I went and found it. It was just tucked away because I have this twice. Mine is there. See? I ended up with two, just not being careful enough. So, yeah, Donna, that's going to be on its way to you. Congratulations. Now, this week's. Let me just pop that to one side so I can see to that afterwards. Okay. We'll go with this one first. Now, this one's a counted one, which it didn't say on the website, but that's okay. Um, where's... 
Give me two seconds, guys. I pulled it out and I picked it away somewhere. Give me two seconds. I picked up the bag. It just fell out on the floor. So, the first one I'm going to give away. There is no big picture with this, so kind of bear with me. I'm going to try and get as much as I can. This one is a colourful peacock. Where did I get it from? I might be able to find the email. Did I not write it all? No, I didn't. You know what? I'll find the email with the link in it for this one and I'll put a picture up somewhere there. So that's what you're going to get. Um, this is one I unboxed. I just <laughs> don't know where from. So it's all in here. Everything you need. It's not... I haven't touched it since I opened it. So everything you need is in there. So if you want this one, just put the word peacock in your comment. And we'll just have to t work it out somehow. Right. Uh, the second one, I'm going to do two this time. The second one, this one doesn't have a big cover sheet either. Uh, but this is from New Craft Day. I will show you the image, but I will put in, because I know where this one's from, I will put in a bigger image for you so you can see better. But it's a rainbow owl, and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is a stamped kit, as you can see. There is this one. Isn't, it's counted. And that, I believe, that's a 14 count, the counted one. This one's an 11. So if you want this one, just put owl in your comment that's fine I will draw that next floss tube it's been two weeks so I'll put them to one side for you guys um, but like I said bear in mind the owl is count is not counted the owl is stamped the peacock is counted so if you're not up for a counted don't go for the peacock <laughs> right guys I'm sorry this video is dragged on a little bit longer than normal. Uh, congratulations, Donna. I will be sending out that Robin kit to you. Um, that will probably be done tomorrow morning, actually. Um, yeah. And just remember, if you want to be put in for the two kits, either put Peacock or Owl in your comment. Um, good luck. Have a great week, guys. Uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.